Ecamm Live has been one of our favorite live streaming apps on Mac the last few years, but it's been a while since our last review and a lot has changed with a ton more competition and also a heap of new features across the board. So how does it stack up now? And is Ecamm Live still our pick for best live streaming software on Mac? We're gonna dive into everything you need to know in this Ecamm Live tutorial. Hey, it's Justin Brown here from Primal Video, where we help you grow an audience and scale your revenue with online video. If you're seeing value in this video, make sure you give us a thumbs up and all the links to everything we mention, you can find in the description box below. Let's jump into it. So Ecamm Live is an amazing live streaming platform for Mac. It is Mac only, so PC users, you're out of luck. There's built-in support for all the major platforms for you to go live to, and there's also RTMP support, meaning that you can pretty much use Ecamm Live to broadcast anywhere. There's also built-in support for platforms like Restream and Switchboard, which lets you multicast or simulcast your live stream out to multiple platforms. So if you wanna broadcast live on YouTube and Facebook at the same time, then you've got that functionality inside of Ecamm. Now, there's a lot of features inside of Ecamm, so I'm gonna do my best to mention all the important ones or the standout features so make sure you stick around so that you don't miss them. Ecamm Live will let you broadcast live in a heap of different formats and sizes as well. So it supports video resolutions right up to 4K and you're not just limited to a widescreen broadcast. You can do a portrait or nine by 16 broadcast, a square broadcast, classic four by three ratio, or even extra wide two by one ratio. And there's even support for 360 live streaming if that's something you're into. There's an inbuilt live streaming scheduler so that you can schedule your live streams well ahead of time. And there's just a ton of built-in customizability to really help you dial everything in and to tweak and adjust everything all while keeping the overall interface and the overall experience really, really simple and intuitive. All the panels and the tools and the windows and things you can customize up and hide the ones you're not gonna use and reposition and feature the ones that you're gonna use while you're actually live. Ecamm Live makes it really easy to switch between your primary camera, your screen share, and even video files as well. If you've got some fancy intro animations or graphics and things that you wanna play while you're live, it literally is as easy as drag and dropping that file onto your Ecamm Live and it's going to start playing. Now we'll share with you really soon where you can go to create your own amazing custom animations and things that you can use on your live streams. So make sure you're sticking around for that one. But Ecamm Live also supports pre-configured scenes. So you might have a scene for your primary camera, one for a 50-50 screen split with you on one side and your guest on another, or one for your screen share that makes it really easy to switch between these different inputs or layouts while you're live. With just a couple of clicks, you can add in a plain static title, an animated ticker title or a title that's going along the bottom of the screen, or you can even create something like a countdown timer to be on screen before you start your live stream. Now you also get access to easily control and adjust your cameras as well. So if you wanna adjust the brightness, you wanna adjust and tweak the colors, or even change the framing of your shot, maybe zoom in a little bit, then all of this is super simple in Ecamm. And there's also support for green screen or background removal. So if you are filming on a green screen or a blue screen, then it makes it really easy to remove that so that you can put yourself anywhere on your live streams. Now we'll get to some of the more advanced features really soon, but one of the standout features for me is the built-in guest feature, the interview feature. And this is where you can easily bring other people into your live streams. Now Ecamm has had this feature for a little while, but it was limited to working with Skype only. So you had to have a call running with Skype with your guests, then you were able to bring them in. But Ecamm has recently overhauled this feature and you now don't need to use Skype, which is amazing because who uses Skype these days? So the new interview feature will let you bring in up to four guests onto your live stream at once. And you can have people sitting and waiting in a green room before you bring them on. To invite someone onto your stream, all you need to do is grab your unique invitation URL, copy that link and give it to whoever you want to join. And then that person's able to join from most devices out there. So they don't need to just be on their computer. This will work on phones or tablets and things as well. But I think one of the coolest parts about this feature is, is that that guest then just shows up as another video source or an input source that you can then use and customize up again, either beforehand or while you're live really, really simply. And you even have the ability to customize up the look and feel of your guests shots as well. So if they've got a green background, you can manage manage the chroma keying or the green screen effect on your end, or you can adjust their colors or the brightness of their shot so that it matches the overall look and feel of your broadcast. 
And it's this stuff that you normally only see in really advanced, really top level live streaming programs. And it's usually way clunkier and harder to use. Now, another really powerful game changing feature that I use all the time in Ecamm is the virtual webcam feature. Now, this is essentially where Ecamm is being detected as a virtual webcam inside of other applications, like a Zoom call meaning that you can control what you're sending over to those other applications from within Ecamm. So it might be that you're just doing text on screen or that you're sharing your computer screen all from that other application, just seeing your feed through as if it was a webcam. Now this feature is awesome and it'll really help you take your Zoom calls or even your webinar presentations to the next level as well. The last few free training workshops that we've run, we've actually just used this feature inside of webinar software, but I'm controlling it all from inside of Ecamm. So all the keynote slides and everything that I was using, I just ran through Ecamm, but shared it through as if it was a webcam. So that makes it much easier for me to run the training, but also makes it look so much more pro and so much more polished for your viewers watching and attending as well. And the other really big standout thing with Ecamm that I have mentioned is the overall interface and how easy it is to use. There is so much thought put into this that makes the whole thing so seamless and really easy to use while you're live. I mean, even simple stuff like being able to pinch to zoom on your trackpad, to zoom in on your computer screen. If you really wanna show your viewers something and you're sharing your computer screen, it's just the simple stuff like that that makes the world of difference. More professional live streaming software would have you going into menus upon menus and using clunky little sliders to try and zoom in or zoom out on a shot. Ecamm is just so intuitive and makes it so much fun to use. And there's also a lot of really advanced little features in there that you would expect to only see in top level programs as well. Things like being able to adjust the audio delay. If there's a short delay between your video feed and your audio, you can actually manually adjust the delay to pull it back in sync. There's also things like NDI support built in. So if you've got network cameras that are running on that protocol, then they'll just show up as another video feed for you to use. But there's also NDI output. So likewise, in a more professional environment, if you wanna push your video feed out or your live stream out over to your local network, you've got that ability in here too. And even just little settings in there to help make your live stream more polished. Like if you're doing a screen share, you can check a box and it will hide all of your desktop icons. So if you're someone who's got a messy desktop, this setting could be really helpful. Or if you're working on a really high resolution screen, maybe you want your mouse cursor to be bigger on a screen share. All of this stuff you've got easy access to in Ecamm. Now, one of the things that stood out for me earlier on with Ecamm was how dedicated and how accessible the dev team are. The guys that are working on this are absolutely amazing, but they're also actively engaging and actively taking feedback on board and really building out a massive list of features, which is take an Ecamm to where it is today. Now this is something that you don't see too much, but it's something that gives you great peace of mind, knowing that if you've got any questions or any issues, that you can contact the people that are actually making it or get support from the amazing community that's using it that can help you out with wherever you're stuck or whatever you're looking to do. So we've covered off on a lot of the features and a lot of the advantages, but what about some of the downsides or some of the things that Ecamm Live might be missing? Well, I will say that if you're someone who is looking for the top level pro, broadcast live streaming software, then this isn't it. It comes close, but it's not it. If you're someone who needs the ability to really dial in specific settings, specific bit rates and file types for video recording inside of there as well, or the ability to really customize up a specific scene with multiple layers of images and videos, then that is not Ecamm Live. And if those are the things that you're after, then that's where you would be looking at something like a Wirecast or a vMix. But I really think that Ecamm is kind of that perfect mix of a lot of those advanced features and controls and the ability ability to customize things up, but also the ability to keep everything really simple, make it really easy to use while you're live. In regards to pricing, you've really got two main options. There is a free trial to let you test everything out for 14 days, but that will have a watermark on your live stream. So the two options really are your standard plan and your pro plan. Both of these are monthly subscriptions with an annual pay option as well, which does make it even cheaper. The standard plan is $20 per month and it does give you access to most of the features inside of Ecamm Live. Or you've got the pro plan, the preferred professional plan, which is $40 per month, and this unlocks everything. So things like the virtual webcam feature, 4K live streaming, and if you want access to that new guest feature, then that's only available in the pro plan as well. But still, given the price and what's included, it makes Ecamm an absolute no-brainer if it fits your use case. 
Now, one thing you do need to be aware of with that new interview feature on the pro plan is that that pro plan includes 20 hours use of that interview feature per month. Or if you're paying for the annual, then that'll give you 240 hours per month. Now, if you do go over your allocated hours, you can purchase an additional block of 20 hours for currently $14.99. So again, that's just something to be aware of if you are gonna be running a lot of interviews. So as for my recommendations and who I think Ecamm Live is gonna be suited towards, I think it's gonna be great for someone whether you're an absolute beginner, never, done any live streams before in your life, right through to someone on that more advanced side of things as well, given that it is easy to use, but it also packs a punch in terms of what you can actually do in there and having a lot of features and controls and things in there as well. But if you are someone who is looking for the most advanced features and things, then that's where maybe a vMix or a Wirecast would be better suited for you. Or on the other side of things, if you're someone who doesn't want to customize anything up, you literally just want to click a few buttons and go live and bring people on, then even Ecamm is still gonna be great for that, but another one to consider would also be StreamYard. It's incredibly easy to use, but it doesn't come anywhere close in terms of the features and things that you get access to inside of Ecamm Live. But for me though, Ecamm Live is hands down my number one live streaming application on Mac overall. I actually wish there was something like it on the PC side of things as well. And like I said, even when I'm not even live streaming, I'm using Ecamm Live to run and manage my webcam and screen share and those kinds of things as well on other platforms. So it's an amazing, super powerful application and it just keeps getting better year on year. Now, earlier in the video, I said I would also share with you where you can go to create amazing looking animations and graphics to use in your live streams. Check out the video that's linked on screen where we take you through exactly how you can do it fast and easy. And I'll see you in the next one.